Hello boys and girls, welcome to Pico My Shoulder in my casual, semi-casual stroll uh, around Call of Pripyat Special Edition Now this, uh, this episode starts from the point where I have uh, where I have paused recording to check over my visual settings and I think I, I found the thing that uh, made my game stutter so much and I think it's because I had shadow quality too high maybe, probably because right now I don't seem to be I don't seem to be experiencing such stutter even with all these uh, lovely anomalies here easy now Shh. come on let's get up that ladder at the point no goody We're going full scenic here, so... Do cooperate, Major! Come on! This used to work all... yeah, of course. Used to work all the time, every time. Whoop! I have found that, uh, generally speaking, night time is a great time for lurking around uh, all sorts of industrial um, uh, industrial installments. learned by experience that you can actually survive very well if you drop down here like if you accidentally miss the gap I mean if you miss the uh, if you miss the pavement and hit the gap and then fall down hitting an anomaly this one here uh, it's the fall is not going to kill you and uh, and you can later lie to your friends that you totally meant to do that because the anomaly breaks your fall or whatever <laughs> but that was a very spontaneous thing which I'm not going to repeat right now Yes, as far as uh, visual collaboration between the game and the recorder, re recorder goes, it seems to me that it's uh, it's very useful to um, use daytime to get nice views of, uh, of the nature and nighttime to get nice views of the uh, industrial stuff. That's just just my observation though. Hello. Take me to your leader. You ain't got shit. Um No, that's too cheap. <laughs> you other dude, keep it down. I can't focus on reading and listening at the same time. Okay, so what's new? Okay, so he... <laughs> if you want bitches, go to Big Land. So he's... Uh, He's uh, he's saying that there is this dude Noah. Oh. Oh. 
того пидорка гнойного приложить получше, чтоб лишнего потом не дать. И там ли народу вокруг натуре хрен сныкаешься, если что? My language skills are not good enough to read and, and hear at the same time. <coughs> okay, so... Uh, so basically, he's a bit cuckoo. There is a nice view from his roof. And he has... Uh, uh, he has raised a pseudopop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the intellect, I suppose. <laughs> Hearing and reading the bandit speak here is is uh, packs the same kind of uh, humorous punch as uh, in Killing Floor. They stay put, you div. So I think let's let's go visit Noah maybe. Although it would be it would be nicer to wait until. Daybreak is on its way, so that I can uh, really enjoy that view of his from his watchtower. Also, when you haven't uh, been to Skodovsk, uh, he is giving you. Uh, he's sh he's gonna share some of his uh, uh, conspiracy theories with him, or well, insight. I mean, but uh, but. Uh, he's not going to give you any quests or anything like that. So instead, I am going to check out the second part of my loadout that I want to stick with for now. Because thing is, uh, I dropped the AK because uh, as it stands, I don't really suck it up for now. I don't really need great accuracy right now because uh, the main threat is mutants, which means I need to shoot fast and do do a lot of damage at once, which means the shotgun is optimal. So I was thinking uh, if I if I'm thinking, oh hello, people. If I'm thinking two uh, two loadouts, one is shotgun and sidearm, and the other is uh, <laughs> and the other is uh, is AK and the SMG. Ну типа я слушаю. Да, Кекс, если ты на кище так играл, давно с петушарем. Are you the leader or not? Okay. So let's see what's new. Okay, he's also speaking about Noah. Так, полабонь быстрее, что надо? нормальному на кичу маляву типа сынок ты как накрытую пошел по хозяйству жопа полная весна уже пришла надо огород там перекопать тошку и другую мойню посадить 
Матушка такая через неделю пишет. Фига себе, родной. После твоего письма менты набежали. Весь огород перекопали, только не нашли ни хрена. Злые такие были, маты до неба гнули. А пацаны так отвечают. Ну, типа, мать, ну чем смог, помог. А картошку ты уже как не сама посадишь. This is one of the jokes that I, that I have listened so so many times and looked it up so that I actually know what it's about. It's about a, a uh, dude sitting in jail writing to his uh, writing back home and uh, and his mama complaining that uh, there's nobody to help her with the with the garden and and it's already springtime and they should plant the potatoes and who's gonna help her and and so on. Actually, I think there is uh, there is a similar joke uh, about an Irish dude. So the dude writes back, "Oh well, can't do much, but just watch out for the uh, weapon shipment that's hidden under your garden patch." And mom writes back, uh, "After your letter, cops came in, dug up all the garden, but didn't find anything." And that's when the dude writes back, uh, and I quote. Dude, mama! <laughs> As I sit here, I help them any way I can. Now that they have dug it up, you can plant your potatoes. Of course, it sounds funnier when they say it. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep these here. I don't really want them. Now, do we have a new poltergeist here? Nope. Don't think that we do. Uh, also, prevention. If I break down the crates, there will be less material for the poltergeist to uh, to lug around. Also, I want to see if these are active explosive crates or or that's just written on it. Yeah, I think the riding dynamite is just just for show in this in this case. Oh, I almost forgot. Bind. So first, bind what? To which key? Oh. Oh. No, wait. It's wrong. Bind. Can one two key F one. There you go. Bind. Can two two key F two. Yoink. And uh, finally, bind. Camera camera three. Two key F three. Yeah. That's that's how my memory works. Yeah. Epic mug. Uh, I, I usually I am quite unable to just plain memorize anything, but if I if I understand or if, if I comprehend its uh, its making, then I can just just come up with it on my own. Also, it helps that I have I have the bind commands written down on the paper right now. Okay, one more. 
Uh, so these broken crate uh, pieces won't stick around, which means next time uh, when the next poltergeist shows up, it will have a whole lot less of shit to uh, to jab at me. Yoink. Let's go check that door. Uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I think that, uh, like I said before, I think the door uh, door's position has been compromised somewhat. Just, just not all the way. Show me the help. Yeah, it's fine. Let's, let's try to try to jam it a little bit. I want impact. And okay, yeah, uh, it does fly through the door the right angle but okay yeah it's it's back at the other side of the door so this is the loadout that I'm going for for now and later maybe when uh, when more zombified start roaming about the countryside and I will need greater accuracy, then I will switch to uh, to the AK. But yes, speaking of priorities, my fatal flaw of priority setting was that I assumed the starter suit would have built-in artifact containers which it doesn't. Which means I won't benefit in any artifacts that I pick up, which means uh, finding a better detector really isn't a priori priority at all. So in order to get any suit upgrades or a new suit I should go... oh let's, let's search him just for good measure. This. Let's just leave it be for now. Uh, I should. So basically, anything, anything related to wearable artifacts is uh, is tied to going to Skadovsk. Meaning, I can pretty much forget about uh, forget about uh, wearing shiny things. So basically, uh, uh, the the task of getting a the task of getting wearable artifacts is tied to going to Skadovsk, and uh, so is uh, the task of getting the suit that like like the suit and detector are tied to the same uh, same condition. Which means I no longer have a primary objective out here. I mean, the primary object objective of uh, finding a, a better detector is moot. Which means I will no longer uh, go to the boiler uh, site and try to. Uh, I mean, I will no longer go to the boiler site to cash in on the guaranteed bear. Instead, I am going to. Um, around the countryside, observe what the stalkers are doing, try to find weird shit, try to run into weird uh, weird occasions, stay away from dogs. So yeah, it's uh, instead of a uh, 
instead of a uh, quest for do that it's it's gonna be more like a nature documentary and everything everything that relates to uh, objects and upgrades will be tied to uh, Skodovsk already What I am going to continue doing though is checking out uh, all the uh, all the stashes. Not all at once of course, I'm just sort of picking up one or two uh, during a, a round so that I won't over overburden myself with, uh, with stuff and instead uh, I can sort of live off the stashes so to speak. Uh, also, I'm not going to pick up any of the uh, uh, monolith stashes at the moment. Okay, so I think I already did find one, one stash from here. Yeah. And now that I have a better shotgun and I'm industrious as fuck, could also go down to the basement and check out the mysteries there. I mean, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, there weren't any any blood suckers that weren't part of the whole mission thing, but still. There was a nicely tucked into corner stash somewhere in here. No. Also have to watch out so that I don't uh, crawl into some corner where I can't exit anymore. Which has totally happened. Yeah, that's the one. Yoink! Maybe a manual save is in order. Now there are no suckers here. I mean, blood suckers. No, no, I mean, camera free. Camera free is very useful for checking out stashes that might not be on your eye level. Although sometimes your own ass or head is on the way of what you would want the player to see. Well, ah, it's getting lighter. This might be an appropriate time to get a nice view. Sure. Yeah, maybe later. I'm pretty sure there was a stash in this car as well. Let's see. Or maybe not can't remember and I can't see right now and I don't want to get too close because it's, it's hot.
So, a view then. There is an added bonus uh, to the whole postponing uh, artifact hunting thing is that uh, most of the local stalker population is equipped with the uh, with the low end detectors which means they won't be able to find uh, the uh, the top tier artifacts they will only be gathering the uh, the cheapos. So even if they systematically go out and gather it, as we have seen, I mean, I have I have found uh, a crystal on this one dude, and in uh, in some of the saves that I scrapped, I found uh, some sparklers on others. Uh, even if they do pick up those. The local anomalies will have enough chance to spawn the higher end stuff as well. So, oh, hello, somebody's over there. So to, to sum it all up into a sort of uh, loose mission statement to observe and scavenge. Hello. <laughs> Okay, and he's advertising Nimble again. Good for you. Do I need to eat something? Yeah, let's. If I descend from here, will I be able to get to the barge with my feet dry? I'm not sure. So let's follow this ridge here. Who's hunting whom now, bitch? Also, I need to. Yeah, there's another one. Okay, I 
I think it's too far for the shotgun, but not, not too far for the grenade. Too far for that one. <laughs> okay, I got overconfident. Um Oh my. Necro porno. This one screenshot. This one is going straight to the porn folder. Okay, enough. advertisement so yeah the lesson here is just because it it's trying to go away doesn't mean it's not danger danger to us Just minding his own business, I suppose. I can I can respect that. Let me just approach the barge from a different side. I want to close the door. Hello! First things first. Little gift. Yeah, in vanilla she didn't have the goggles, but I guess this is like... On one hand it's just cool, but on the other hand it's a necessity, because when a mutant wave uh, hits uh, the area and uh, sometimes when the door is open then they will invade uh, the space here and if you're assisting then uh, it's easy to just shoot anything um, Hello! to look this word up. Oh wait, I have a dictionary right here somewhere-ish. Maybe not. Ah, this one. KKKKK
pretty sure it's not in here. But um, I might be able to get the stem of the word. Or maybe not. closest educated guess that I can I mean the closest match that that might uh, that might uh, lead to an educated guess is distortion I don't know abomination I don't know is that his word for a zone or I, I don't remember his storyline too well because uh, I I haven't played it uh, in the English version. I mean, I don't I don't even think that I have I have uh, gone for his dialogues uh, in English. So it's it has always been a little bit shaky. <laughs> okay, so in here. He has the chance to survive. Okay. And no mutant is going here, which is not strictly true because if the door is open, then they will surely come. Okay, let's ask about the joke. And now I'm I'm certain that I haven't uh, that I have never seen these dialogues in English because if they had translated thi this as lucky bitch, I would remember, <laughs> probably. Okay, okay, you hate mutants. Got it. Now, I believe it is it is somewhat dawny daylighty outside, so let's go and enjoy that view. I know I have to go to a... Are you kidding me? I, I have to go to a, a upper deck to, uh, to reach the ladder, don't I? Yeah. Whee! Of course, the real question is how would the bandits know that he has a nice view? Uh, I would, I would think that no bandit uh, gets gets to come up here. Oh, did I? Did I? Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Screenshot time! Of course the rain isn't very optimal for... Uh, for copious screenshotting. what we will be able to detect from here. Now the thing is that uh, the detection beep might be going off because of Noah and, and, and Lassie themselves. Also the pseudodog sound might be coming from below.
then again if I look at that direction nothing sticks out so yeah I'm not sure let's see what time is it morning ish oops Okay, no harm done. Okay, yeah, it is him. I mean her. Eat the sausage! And he doesn't trade. Okay, I think it's time I moved on. I won't open the door because he might shoot me in the ass. I think he doesn't, uh, doesn't shoot if you're inside, but... You can never be too careful. Also, there are always glitches. So back at these guys. Where's the other one? Ah, over there. <coughs> well, okay, now he's speaking of uh, nimble too. <laughs> okay. Uh, since it's almost morning, I'm gonna hang out here, and uh, I have been ferociously pantomimed by the family to let me know that there is some food, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Will you stop yapping? I'm trying to end an episode here, gracefully. So yes, with this uh, nice view of the bridge, I'm going to wrap up this episode. I might record some more today, I'm not sure. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and bye bye, and maybe see you soon. <laughs>